students are just like adults when it comes to cyber risks. They too can become victims of online scams, encounter inappropriate content, or download programs that contain malicious software. Therefore, special attention should be paid to teaching students about online security. You can use the following topics as a guideline to develop your own lessons. They should, to some extent, touch on the following ideas. First, conduct an introductory class about how the internet works, its history, and how it might develop in the future. Discuss what devices can connect to the internet and what functions they perform. Talk about what services students can use for watching content, communicating, looking for information, or carrying out professional activities. Second, discuss the types of online scams that users may encounter online. You can learn more about them on our blog site, that's kaspersky.com forward slash blog, or on our special site where we publish quarterly and yearly reports on the most interesting and important examples of cybercrime that our users encounter online. That's securelist.com. The topics of the classes can be dedicated to the most frequently encountered threats. These include phishing, fraud conducted via telephone calls or messages on messenger apps, and scams. And don't forget to discuss the main channels used by scammers to distribute their messages and internet safety rules. Third, talk about problems connected with cyberbullying. You should discuss what types of cyberbullying exist and the ways you can avoid becoming a victim. You can learn more about the types of cyberbullying in our video. You can also use this as a basis for your lessons on the topic. Further material that you can use for preparing your lessons on cyberbullying can be found on our blog, Cyberbullying, the Cybercrime of the Century. Fourth, discuss how to find information on the internet. Explain the different methods for finding information and why it's important to know them. For example, it might be worth discussing the problems connected with fake news. You can use search queries to construct a lesson on recognizing fake news. Pick a post published online and then do the following. Find information about the source through research or original news. Pay attention to the contents of the post and not just the headline, since the authors often use clickbait headlines to attract the attention of users. The actual information contained in the post may differ significantly. Look at the information contained in other posts by that author. Verify the accuracy of the news. Maybe it's a repost of an older post. If the news looks weird, then ask your students, is it fake? Is it a joke? Finally, take advantage of resources that can be used as sources for lessons or to conduct training. You can find a great one on cyberbullying in the book, Casper Sky and the Green Bear.